In real life, you're not that good of a person. A lot of people aren't. Everybody isn't. But yet, on social media, there's a lot of people that love to pretend that they are. And nothing will turn you into a conservative faster than watching some of these idiotic takes on Twitter, man. It's petty and stupid at times. It's a little bit more malicious at other times. I'd be letting it go. But when we start messing with the art, that's when I gotta draw a line in the sand. Please do not touch my song. Musicians and entertainers, they should not be your role models. Even more specifically, rappers. But in general, nobody. You can aspire to have certain character traits or you know hustle or drive like other people. But the idea of who do you wanna be when you grow up and you're thinking about what LeBron, Come on now, he's just like you, just a little bit more aura. They don't have a higher moral compass than you just because they made a little bit of money. And so they should be set to the same standard as everybody else in the world. And yet, they're not. Let's talk about it. Disclaimer, full disclosure, warning, yield, beep, 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 beep. I'm gonna say some things here and bring up some people that you may not agree with. Everything is from a debate perspective. If you can't think abstract, just go ahead and- Get out right, right here, man. Let's say you have a beautiful painting, beautiful sculpture, piece of art, whatever it is. It just resonates with you. Reminds you of your broken past or makes you think about the future or whatever it is that y'all be feeling when y'all look at art. Now let's say two years later, you find out that the artist, he stabbed all of his cousins. He was a terrible guy and he jaywalked and you know, parked in handicapped spots. Does that now invalidate the feelings you feel when you look at the art? Maybe for some people, but it still looks the same to me. That art did not change or mean any less to me just because that guy is now Mr. Stabby Stabby. And that's somebody that you didn't even know was a bad person. These days, rappers make it very plain. The entire establishment of hip hop, its culture and how it's been practiced is as a counterculture. So in the last decade, as it became pop culture and how pop culture has moved to a more online, more you know morally holier than thou type of perspective, we can definitely see a bastardization of what hip hop is supposed to be. This doesn't only apply to hip hop though. It applies to all genres of music and art and anything else that's expressive and subjective. We now interact with art and music a whole different way than how we used to. I won't put a direct value judgment on it yet. I'll let you decide that for yourself. What I will say is, it's definitely more censored than we've ever been before. But let's take it back to hip hop. In hip hop, the people that had the most enticing stories were usually the people that lived the most interesting lives, which affected people around them as well as themselves. And interesting comes in many different options. Of course, there's a lot of people that just talked about what they saw, but there's a whole different subsection of people just talking firsthand about the lives they destroyed, you know, robbing, shooting, killing. I've been robbing motherfuckers since the slave ship selling drugs, scamming, and whatever else. And we have been singing and dancing and going to the gym and just enjoying these songs for I don't know how long. Personally, I use these songs for motivation. Between some of those criminal acts, there's a lot of hope, you know, ingenuity, and just life lessons that can be learned through some of the music. Just because they're doing something bad, it doesn't mean that it's, you know, devoid of art. But that's the basis. Imperfect people just telling their stories. Like Tupac, for example, would talk about societal inequality, you know, being dealt a bad hand, and systemic injustice, while also in the same breath talking about pimping hoes, fucking them, slapping niggas, and shooting them. And does that take away from the art? Not to me. You gotta make that decision for yourself. But what you can't do is make that decision for other people. To be specific, when you think about something like this, you know, separating the art from the artist, somebody always comes up, R. Kelly. Right now, I personally don't listen to R. Kelly. Not because you can, you know, shame me into not listening to him. It's just, I don't know, it feels weird, so I won't do it. But if you can listen to it and not feel weird, more power to you. I miss them songs. Those, those were great songs. And the only point that I semi-understand is about not trying to give a person like that any more money by listening to the music. But me personally, I still don't care. I support murderers every day. Support drug dealers that are killing communities. I'm not the judge, nor am I God. None of my feelings are gonna change how this art makes other people feel. And I think where a lot of people mess up is trying to enforce how you feel onto other people. That is not your place. I hope by this point we've established people do bad things and they also make art. Those two, although linked through the person, are not the same thing. You can have an emotional connection to the art, but still know I don't really like this guy and I don't support his ideals. The song just cranks. But the hypocrisy starts when people start picking and choosing. And that's the problem we're at right now. 
there's two groups involved. One, people that believe that whatever they think is what's moral and what's right. And two, the people that fear those people. Funny enough, it's not even the crimes they've admitted to or things they're alleged of. It's the ideas that they have, the people they support, you know, or don't support. Where is a black guy that has a Jewish person signed to him? Point it out, tell me that. Mm. Where is a black person that's signed to a Jewish person? All of them, basically 90, basically 90, uh, 90% of them. And just how they respond to certain situations that gets people to try to get them out of there, which in itself is also hilarious because making people feel bad on the internet is a worse crime than actual crime. You can lie, cheat, steal, and ruin your community, but if you don't use your platform the way they want you to, you're done. Get them out of here. Put them on the don't listen list. What's even stranger is how people pick and choose what is acceptable and what isn't. There's a lot of uncertainty and a whole lot of hypocrisy going on when it comes to the character of artists and who should be shamed and who shouldn't. My stance is always nobody, but that's not how it is and that's not how they want it. So let's let's do an example. Pick your top five felonies that you would like to happen to you. It's gonna be different for everybody, but I'm gonna assume that it wasn't easy to rank. And if you're generally you know, happy with your life, I'm gonna also assume that murder wasn't at the top of that list. And yet, some people are celebrated and others are shunned by the exact same groups of people. Like, I know life ain't fair, but damn, that's kind of crazy, right? You're probably thinking to yourself, I don't support any criminals. This don't really apply to me. All right, let's take it away from crime in general. Who is this perfect person that all these people are being judged against? Like, who's the standard? It's no way it's a real person. In this day and age, they would have canceled MLK for being abusive to his, you know, wife by cheating on her. They would have canceled Malcolm X for being anti-Semitic or so they said he was. And we definitely don't want to talk about what their views would be on our political climate right now. Every single role model that you could have is just a regular person. And we're all regular people. I'm choosing to believe that since we're still kind of early in this, you know, globalization on social media, that we're not 100% sure of what this is supposed to look like. But requiring people to think and act like you in every situation or else they're not deserving of their platform, one, crazy. Or two, just passing judgment on people in general when you have not lived their life. I don't think anybody's past saving, but you don't have to agree with that point. But if you are passing judgment, look within, look around, and apply it equally to everybody. And if you do, you'll probably see that your phone has no music on it anymore. Last little section of yapping. Here's how I look at it. I don't commit crimes, but I, I might. If I had to, I would. I'm no better than anybody else. And just because you know the crimes you commit are in your gated community or the ill feelings that you have you keep them tucked inside and you you know find an outlet for them or you just bottle them up it makes no difference you're still just a person you're just like the people that you're passing judgment on if you like the music listen if you don't like the music don't listen if you don't like the person don't support it but leave it at that because i can guarantee that something that you like support buy do is offensive to somebody else and has hurt somebody else 100 percent guarantee that or even you yourself you know for a fact that you have some ideas or some thoughts that everybody does not agree with nobody is perfect and nobody should be held to a standard of perfection we're just people leave the judgment for the big man upstairs or if you don't believe in that leave the judgment to the universe or whatever it is just know it's not for you but that's enough what i think what do you think